Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan Miller with Growth Stimulus Training. What I wanted to do in this video is show you guys a few of the great pressing and pulling movements that you can incorporate into any training program or your own personal GST program as well. What I wanted to do is um, just give you guys some tips and advice as you can see the move movement being done. I think that's cool to see it together. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at chin-ups. Chin-ups are an excellent pull movement. It's a vertical row that's going to focus on the lats muscles of the mid back and of course the biceps and forearms as well. I put this in slow motion because I want you to see what's happening. I'm focusing on a nice tight squeeze at the top through the biceps and in between my shoulder blades. I'm trying to flex my lats and work those mid back muscles to pull everything together around my spine. You can see I do a, a short hold at the top and that's really to get that focused contraction. So we got some real time reps there's a slight pause at the top where I've just held it, flexed it, thought about it. It allows me to focus in and then I always use a nice controlled one to two second negative. That's something that I recommend for every single exercise. What we're coming up on now is the machine chest press. One thing that you'll notice a lot during my machine chest presses is that it looks like I'm going to be looking down or looking at my arms or shoulders. I'm actually looking at my pecs and what I'm thinking about <clears throat> <clears throat> is I'm thinking about really popping those pecs. I'm arching my back so you can see that my feet are planted on the floor, my butt is pressed into the bottom of the bench, my upper back is on the bench, but the middle of my back is off. So that means that my lower back, or my mid back rather, is arched and that's going to pop the chest out. And what you're going to see is I'm going to stay focused on those pecs and I'm going to see them just puff out like mountains and they're going to be flexing with each rep. They are what's doing the majority of the work here. And I'm also making sure of that by really flaring my elbows out and keeping them away from my sides. My upper arms are nearly vertical or parallel rather with the floor. And you want to flare those elbows out that much to really, really, really focus in on the chest muscles. Otherwise, you're going to put too much focus on the triceps. And what I'm doing this for is the chest. This is a chest press machine, and I found that it really, really zones in on the pecs. There you go. I'm looking at the pecs, watching them with each rep, trading off left, right, left, right. Stay focused and watch the muscle that you're working. It helps quite a bit, actually. All right, the next movement is the dumbbell preacher curl. Of course, this one is all about the biceps. Everybody likes to work their arms. I like to alternate between the standing barbell curl, standing dumbbell hammer curls, and then these preacher isolation dumbbell curls. What I'm focusing on here is really just doing the work with that bicep. You'll see a nice full range of motion. There's somewhat of a stretch there at the bottom. If you can get an active stretch out of an exercise with each rep, you should definitely do that. And what you're going to see is a little stretch and a lot of flex with each rep. These are slowed down a little bit. This is at 50% uh, time. So you can see that it's a little bit slower. There's going to be some full-time reps, real-time reps coming up in a second. So overall, this is really all about just keeping the body stable, keeping the, bo the body tight, and focusing on the bicep that's working. I like to make sure that I try to keep my wrist curled as well. Um, when things get heavy, it helps if you try to keep your wrist as curled as possible. It's going to give you a little more strength. It's going to let you feel like your grip is tighter. And it never hurts to try to work those forearms extra during curls either. All right, now right here, things are getting a little bit heavy. I'm working in GST's low rep range. I have a 50-pound dumbbell right here. So that's a that's a pretty decent weight for me right now. And it's, it's, it's doing the trick in that 5 rep range. So what we should see here... Um, is about five more reps, a nice clean set. I'm hitting my right arm right now. And what I'm doing is I'm actually watching myself in a mirror that's in front of me, and I'm just staying real focused on the muscle that's working. All right, that's going to be it for this video. We reviewed the chin-up, we reviewed the chest press machine, and a dumbbell preacher bicep curl. Take this advice, go to the gym with it, use it. This is Ryan Miller with Growth Stimulus Training. Train hard, train smart, and grow.